Never give up, first episode. Marina, shall we spar with you? I'm tired. Oh, come on. Julia, please let me in. I'm in a hurry. So where to? To the Russian rag contest. Please, hand out lunches for the homeless. Yeah, she always smells like cat food. You poor little shit. My dad brought them from Hungary. Do you have any idea how much those sneakers cost? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please give it back. Julia, stop it. Come on. Take a chance. Dad will kick your mommy off the job. Let's go girls, it's going to stink even more in here. I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. Stop it, I was joking Marina. Stop. Get away from her. Are you okay? Come on, get up. It's okay. What the hell are you doing? This isn't fight club, okay. Training's over, go to the locker room. What are you all mouthed off for? Okay, are you sure you're okay? So how long have you been in your new position? Six months. You're fast? So... Have you decided that your capacity is enough for our fleet? I decided it was a generous offer. Right. But it all has to be done retroactively, you know, investors. No problem. So how does it feel? Ilya, to work in obedience to your own woman, doesn't your ego get in the way? Are you jealous that you don't have a woman like that? Come on, don't get too excited. I'm not getting angry. All right, tomorrow my man will come to you, draw up the documents. Ilya Kirillovich. What? You'd better come up. There's an unpleasant incident with your girlfriend. What's wrong? Should I be worried? It was just a regular sparring. Regular? You were barely dragged away. You smashed her face. What was that all about? Unpleasant memories came flooding back and I snapped. Probably overworked. It's a work emergency, you know. You're going to get yourself in trouble. I told you, rest, relax. After all you have. Are you leaving after all? No. Yes, I am. And you know why. Julia. Wait. Well, I'm trying. For you and Boa's sake, give me a chance. You've had 10 years. 10. 
What's to change? Dad was right. You're incapable of anything. You're running around with that wreck of yours. He wanted to give us the hotel, yeah. Jesus, what's Dad got to do with it? He's been gone for three years. I understand you're used to living in luxury. Dad never denied you anything. Give me a chance to prove I'm not nothing. And you are nothing, Olag. You are nothing. You're nothing. You're nobody. You're a zero without a stick. Mom, Dad, I forgot my diary. Where are you? Mom, are you leaving? No, baby. Remember mom told you that I have a job offer in another city? It's very important. You know how much we need. I know, we need that money. I hate it. You're always fighting over these. What is it? What is this? Did you fight again? Leave me alone, both of you. Boria. It's all because of you. I sent him to that damn free school. Julia, you graduated from that school. Yes, because there were no others at the time. If my father had been alive, he would never have allowed. Enough already, father this, father that. Do you have an opinion? I'm sorry. Julia, I'm sorry. Please. Come on. Let's come down. And let's try to fix it. For boy's sake. Just for Borica's sake. I want to stop trying to fix everything. Julia. New production lines are already operating in test mode, and we expect a 3.5% increase in profit compared to last year's period. Thank you. I think that's all for today. Yuri Fedorovic, I'm going to ask you to stay. Tell me that you are the one who changed the supplier. Yes, I did. Because the last one didn't meet the deadline. I had to reschedule and compensate for downtime at the expense of shift workers' salaries. So the issue is closed and the situation does not require your attention. Do you like pearl barley? Yeah, I guess so. You know that if you cook pearl barley for two weeks in a row on the onion fry, your clothes get so saturated with this smell that it is impossible to get it out. What is your point? Let me explain it to you. When management covers its blunders from the salaries of ordinary workers, the company begins to reek of onion fry, and I haven't liked that smell since I was a child. So now you're suggesting that I cook my own free lunches for the workers? No, I don't think you're a good cook. I suggest that you use your bonus to cover your own blunders. The bonus is attached to my employment contract, and you know that very well. I know, I signed that contract. I will personally talk to the lawyers and we will find a way to change the targeting of the award. You are free, thank you. Why are you doing this to him? 
Next time, let me handle such matters. I'm tired. I see. Sorry I ate all the candy before the meeting. Are you kidding me? But I have Swiss chocolates. Do you want some? No, I don't want Swiss chocolates. It's my favorite candy. My mother used to buy it for me when I was a kid. Sorry. Okay, let's sign it and go to lunch. Okay. Wow. Who is it? Julia Mishkak is my classmate. I told you about her. I once wanted to fall to the ground. I was so ashamed of my poverty. And now she's working for me. It's an interesting life. Here, there are more of these. These, please. Sure. Please. The English clasp here is very comfortable. It's a new collection. What do you think of these? I think these are better. These are better. Beautiful earrings. Think so. Yes. If the lady doesn't make up her mind, I'll take them for my wife. The lady has already made up her mind. I'm just going to measure a little more. Young man, are you looking for a special gift? Yes, there is a beautiful woman to please. I see. There is one lovely pendant with cubic zirconia. Take note. Show me this bracelet. Not a clear-cut choice. I would even say a risky one. Please. Yeah, I'll take it, you know. I'm also going to need some elegant gift wrap. How about a case? Great. I'll be late tonight. I think of you even at work, Ilya. I will add a little length. There's no need for amateurism. I'm asking you to make it shorter like in the picture. I don't have to go to a monastery in it. All right, Julenka, it will be as agreed on this girl. Krista Tarlungton is actually a supermodel. It's a shame not to know that. Marishka, look at the prom dress Julia ordered for herself. What do you think? It doesn't matter what she thinks. It's what dad said. And he said to make it in time, graduation is in two weeks. And why did you agree to it? She's being rude to you. And you're going to make her a dress. That's amazing. You don't have to do anything. Just say no. Marishka, first of all, it's my job. And second of all, I feel so sorry for her. She's motherless, so she's angry at the world. Don't you feel sorry for yourself? You have blood pressure. Your doctor told you to be careful. So it's all nonsense, Marishka. Well, really, you know what dress will make for you. Look how beautiful it is. What a miracle. Do you like it? Yes, only it's silk. So that's good. 
We don't have enough money. I'll pay for both Julia's dress and yours. Take your pick. I'm sure no one will sew better than Olga Vitalievna. And I don't need your handouts. Marina, what are you talking about? Apologize immediately. Or what? He'll fire you. Marina. Yeah. Everything will be fine, really. Do you like it? What do you think? I think I have very good taste in everything. When are we going to stop playing these games? I think you're a wonderful actress. That's not what I mean. Ilya, we've been dating for six months now, and I want you all of you not in pieces, do you understand? Of course. You're not going to tell Marina about us. I'm going. When? Soon. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to Texaco? Excuse me, who are you? Julia Mishkak. I think it's a junior economist, right? Yes. It's a pleasure. I'm Kadia. Come on, I'll show you company. Thanks. Tell me, is this your original? Yeah, my dad gave it to me. Why do you need our salaries with a dad like that? Well, I'm not going to be a junior economist for long. Oh, the careerist. Yeah. Well, you know, we don't have it fast. Come on, I'll show you. Marina. Hi. It's me, Julia. Hello, Julia. What a meeting. Do you work here? You look beautiful. Yeah, I don't wear old rags anymore. Come on. I'll admit that I've overreacted sometimes, but that was 100 years ago. Only 18. Marina, listen, let's get together to talk and have some coffee. About what? Sorry. Hello, Marina Yuryevna. Hello, Kadia. I see you're not wasting any time. What do you mean? I just met a classmate. Are you kidding? This is Marina Chernenko, our director. Come on, she doesn't like it when people are late. Marina is the director? Katia. Are you trying to screw me? Katenko, please bring some coffee. Yes, of course. Look, why are you yelling? What's the problem? Not one of your cars made it to my service station. Are you out of your mind to save money on security? You pocket your entire budget for routine inspections. I could have given you a discount. We could have made a deal. What do you call that? This is called cost optimization. I told the investors everything. I sent them the papers. All the service stations are in good condition. So there is no need to drive people back and forth. What if there's an accident? I'll be the 
last man standing. What can I do for you? Excuse me, I have to go to human resources. Obakov Vladimir Anatolievich, driving experience of 20 years. You see the kind of people we have working here. Third door on the left down the corridor. Look, why are you playing up this righteous anger? You sign the papers yourself. Relax and have fun. You'll get a year's contract without straining. The main thing is to get the stamps in time. Tell me, Ilyuka, why are you making all this trouble? You've got a decent salary. I don't want to be in my own woman's employ for a long time. You know what I mean. Screw you. Petya. Ilya Kirilovich. This is for you, Katenka. You look good today. Thanks. Marina Yuryevna, the report. What is it? Per quarter, I asked for six months. It's quarters, it's not full. Katya, please pull yourself together. Get me some water. Okay. What happened? I met her. I can't be around her. I can't. I'm shaking all over. Why did you take her to work at all? Thanks for your support. I don't like your condition very much. You need to rest. Let's make it so that from now on, temporarily, I'll take care of all work matters. Here's half a year's time, just like you asked. Claudia. Thank you. Katusha, listen, Julia Mishkak is not allowed near Marina Yurievna, my personal request. Okay. And you know what else we'll do? We'll go away together in the country. I know a nice spa hotel, no work calls and no reports. Okay. Wait, where are you? Catch him, catch him. Don't hurt me. Here you go. Let me go, you're hurting me. You hear that, guys? He's also kicking. You're in our school now. We have our own rules. Give it back. My daddy gave it to me. So where's your daddy? Got any food? Caviar sandwiches, probably. No. Let's get out. We stole a car. Valentina Stepanovna, how is Mischuk adapting? He is a problem boy. Very difficult to make contact with other children. I don't know what parents were thinking when they took him out of the gymnasium and transferred him to our school. Try to find a way to him. For you. What is it? Nothing, Dad. Hurry up. What happened? I'll take care of it. Let's work it out together. They just say I'm golden youth. Who? Guys from school. They want me to go back to my gymnasium. But I'm not like that and we don't have any money. That's why you and mom are getting a divorce. Kid, it's not that simple. I'm not a kid, I'm an adult, and I understand, you love her, you shouldn't have let her go. Look, do you want to see? Is this the wreck? What wreck? It's a hotel. It used to work once, but that's okay. I'll take out a loan and build it myself, and then... And then mom will come back. 
I don't know. Borie, you can't force those you love. I understand that. You're the one who's good. Hey, what are you so sad about? How about a pizza? Okay. Whoever is last pays the price. Hello, hi son. Hi mom, we went to see the hotel. But I didn't tell you anything, okay? Okay. Mom, will you be home soon? And I have a better suggestion. Let me arrange everything here and you come to me, okay? It's a deal, dad. Mom's calling us over to her house, so talk to her. Why aren't you asleep? Midnight man, go back to sleep. Hello? Hey. How is he? It's okay, got in a fight again, but nothing, it's okay. It's not normal, it's absolutely not normal. Julia, it's just the child, he will outgrow it and forget everything. Nothing will be forgotten. Olug, promise me that you will take care of Borika. The fact that our family is falling apart should not affect him in any way. What do you mean? I'm sorry to you, to my father, and to one other person, and I want to make it right while I still can. Julia. Marina, wait. I need to tell you something. Julia, listen to me. I hired you because you have a good resume. That doesn't mean that I forgive you or that I want to hang out with you. But you should know that. I'm tired. Go home. Like this. What? What did you say? Julia, wait a minute. Let me go. I beg you, don't be so selfish. I just want things to be fair. Do you, you betrayed your mother. Mom is dead. Mom is gone. I gave you everything I could. Am I entitled to human happiness? Julenka, she's a good woman. And Marina, you could be sisters. If you get married, I'll kill myself. What? I hate you and I hate your mistress. When are you going to get out of here? You wretch. Oh, my God. Forgive her, Marina. Are you? Yes. Look, you're a mess, but I'll give you a chance to rehabilitate yourself. What did Exupery say? We are responsible for what we have tamed. Rehabilitate. Dima? Yes? Please bring in the purchasing reports. Okay. Listen, by the way, it was you who sent me these leftist suppliers with leftist documents and inflated prices. You wanted to get more, didn't you? Yuri Fedorovic, at your age it's time to understand people, suppliers, and your own director, and most importantly, what are you accusing me of? Whose signature is on the documents, yours, who stole the 80,000, you did, and you've been stealing for a long time, Yuri Fedorovic. So be glad you only lost your quarterly bonuses. How dare you? Do you know that I... Quiet. I will help you, but for the last time. Close the door. So what are you up to? I will take Marina Yurievna on a romantic trip for three days. I will distract her, and you will make a new purchase. You got it? Go for it.
Привет. Hi. Come here. Colin and Yuri Fedorovic. Embezzlement. I knew there was something wrong with this Kalinin. Who is the author? Anonymous. And you believe that? I got an anonymous letter that there was embezzlement going on at my facility. I can't not react. So, you know, we have to postpone this vacation. Wait, some disgruntled employee writes an anonymous letter about his own boss and you think that's more important than your own health? This is important. We agreed yesterday. It's important for you to rest. Give me half an hour. So figure it out, Yura. It's obvious that it's one of yours. Why? You're the one who plugs the holes in the budget with the salaries of the rank and file employees. All right, we'll sit down, but you go first, yes. Ilya Kirilovic, that's where Julia Mishka came to Marina Yuryevna. You asked not to let her in. Katya, this is really not the time. Okay. Wait, let her come in. Okay. In general, sort it out, Yura, sort it out. Hello. Hello. Thank you for seeing me, Ilya Kirilovic. I need to talk to Marina Yuryevna. And she is always busy. What's the question? Personal. I listen. And please forgive me, but this is a personal matter between me and Marina, and it's been going on for a very long time. I wanted to ask you to arrange a meeting with us, please. It's very important. Okay. I can arrange everything, but for my part I would like to ask for your help. This help doesn't even concern me as much as it concerns Marina Yurievna herself. Are you ready? Vodko, what are you doing? There is something with the brakes, Alexander Vikas Lavovic. They are very soft. It shouldn't be so. What brakes? Get the tools. All cars have been serviced. Do you want me to show you the papers when you come back from your business trip? You'll see. Here's the way bill. You take the employee to the regional office. Check out in 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. That's it. It's settled. Our economist is on his way to the company. I'll be in touch with him and we'll have a report by Monday. Are you sure an economist will be enough? For an audit like this, it's more than that. If you're tired, I can let you down. No, I'm fine. The subscriber is out of range. Hello. Are you Vova? That's right. Do you have the same problem? What do you mean? I mean, you are also left with no days off, please. Yes, thanks. The subscriber is out of range.
Hello. Hello. I think there's something you need to know. Who is it? Who is it? We agreed. You rest, I work. Hello? I'm listening. Hello? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. For the sake of presenting a representative of the central office in a humble wilderness, my name is Yuri Fedorovic. I am the director of purchasing. Julia. Nice to meet you. And this is Dmitry Andreevich, our senior accountant. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So why don't you get some rest from the road? We'll prepare a room for you at the guest hotel. No thanks. I'm not tired. We have a lot of work to do. Who can show me all the documents and take me to the office? Let's have dinner, shall we? We grow cops like this in the local lake. They're very tasty. With pleasure, but after work. All right, afterwards, so afterwards. Thanks. Let's go. Excuse me, do you have a service station here? It's so late, the work day is over. I see. She pulled up the files for the whole year, copying your accounts all over. So, what are you here for? I'm an accountant. The head office told me to do it. I did it. <coughs> well, maybe that's enough for today. Yes, I think there is enough information for today. Thank you. All right, wait for me downstairs. I'll give you some directions and we'll go to dinner. Yes? I thought you said she was just a formality. And the girl is out here looking for all the information. Are you a complete idiot? And what are you there for now? Give her a bribe. I see. Please, your order. Thanks. Thanks. Bon appetite. Yulenka. Yulenka, we are both adults. I will not hide the fact that for some suppliers, we laid down large sums. We were reinsured. Yes, I'm aware of that. I have a business proposition for you. You will submit a report to your superiors, which my accountant will write. And then this figure will be in the account, which you will personally tell me, and everyone will be happy and satisfied. Don't you have anywhere to spend that kind of money? I need to step back.
This will solve all your problems. Shit. Oh. Hello? Julia Nikolaevna, how are you doing? It's okay. Well, great. So I can tell Marina Yurievna that she doesn't have to worry. Right. Ilya Kirilovic, people steal at companies, on large purchases. I found a few situations, but I'm sure there are many more, Marina Yurievna should know. Julia, I am sure you exaggerate. Yes, I know you have a good economic education, but you are in our company for only a week. So you have not yet fully understand everything, unlike Yuri Fedorovic. And he will not offer bad. By the way, have you tried the local carp? I will definitely give it a try. Thanks for the tip. Try it, you won't regret it. She left, well, no she didn't, yes, with a flash drive. You know what? Fuck you. And she knows about you, which means Marina will know soon. And you're on your own now. I'm ready. We can go. What's that? Marina, I should have told you this a long time ago. I love you and I want us to be a family. For better or for worse, in sickness and in health and in general, as they say, I know I'm an idiot. I should have told you earlier. Do you agree? Look, we didn't plan it. I know it's all a little bit so hectic and... Yeah. I'm sorry I don't have a ring, but I promise you that as soon as we get back, I'll choose the best one for you. Will you do it? Yeah. What the hell? What the hell is he doing? Shit, the brakes. Let's get out of here. Dad, what's up? Accident. I'll go and have a look. Dad, don't. Mom says you have to be in the car in these situations. It could be a setup. Alia, what kind of setup? People might need help. But mom says to be in the car. All right, we won't say anything to mom, okay? Dad, be careful. All right, daughter. Are you alive? Are you alive?
Never give up. Second episode. See, I found a way to talk to you after all. I'm really sorry about that. You shouldn't have gone there. I have too. I found something for us, but we'll talk about it later. Now, Marina, listen to me, please. Julia, it's been 100 years. I'm not that poor girl anymore. Let's forget it, okay? Who cares? I was just being a total jerk. I was jealous of your own father. Ever since I saw them with your mother, I knew. I was hysterical, threatening to kill myself, making fun of you, even though you had nothing to do with it. My mother didn't tell me anything. Although I should have guessed. She was very kind to me. Feeling sorry for me. Afraid that I might really do something to myself. I was sure you knew it all. No. Let's save that conversation for later. Okay. Okay, but Marina, you should know you're being cheated. Julia, I'm very glad you're alive. I want to talk to you about a lot of things, but the doctor said that you need to rest. You are really pale. Yes, of course. And by the way, do you have someone to call at times like this? It's important to have someone around. My relatives are in another city. You don't need to bother them. I feel fine. Well, in any case, you need someone to bring you things. Yes, I'll go get your things. Yeah, well, I'll go see Budko then. Chin up, straighten your back. There you go. Who hasn't had their picture taken yet? Me. Come. I haven't had my picture taken yet. The dress is awesome. Did daddy go to Poland? Girls, take it higher. It was on the last Eve St. Laurent show. Oh, really? Why are you lying? Oh, is someone wearing decent clothes and deciding they have the right to vote? Shut up. No, my mother made her this dress. She couldn't sleep at night because of it. <laughs> Cherninko has gone completely insane. Girls, let's go take a picture. Marina. Can I talk to you? It's important. 
Oh, Dad. Hi. What are you doing here? Julia, hold on. I'll be right back. It's about your mom. She got sick today and had to call an ambulance. Where is she? Which hospital? They did everything they could. I was there until the last minute. So what do you mean? Sorry. It's all your fault. You knew she wasn't healthy. What are you talking about? I wish you were dead. Shut up. Stop it. Marina's mother died today. What do you mean died? Why? Julia. Julia. Hello? Listen. Are you even sure she put the flash drive in her bag? There's nothing here. Where could she put it? She went straight from the car to the hospital bed, asshole. All right, come on. I got a second line, come on. Hello? Hi, Elisha. Yeah, hi. Buddy, I don't get it. Where are the payments? What payments, Petya? I'm in deep shit here. You don't know I had two employees in a car accident. Well, I warned you. I don't have time for that right now. So, I want the cars to be at the service station in the morning and inspected, okay? All of them. Where did you put them? Yes, Piotr Otovic. Step in, get the guys together, there's work to be done, it's urgent. Hey. I was up all night checking the reports. How are you? I'm okay. What kind of bag is this? Yeah, I want to go to Julie's. I still can't make it. And what did she tell you last night? Yeah, I honestly don't even know how to react. My whole life is upside down. What's wrong? She said she didn't hit me because I was poor, but because she was jealous of her father and my mother. They had a relationship that I didn't know about. What about the car accident? No, 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 she didn't say anything about the accident. She said someone was cheating on me, which I didn't realize. It's time to go. Where? I'm going to take her things. Wait, let you rest, calm down. I'm calm. No, I can see that this story is eating you up. You're making it worse. No, I'm not exaggerating. Let me drive over there and take it to her, and you can pick out the dress. Which dress? Wedding. It's not like you're getting married after all, remember? No. That's good. Over here, please. Doctor, 
I am looking for my husband, Vladimir Anatolievich Budko. Can you tell me in which room? Well, I'm not a doctor. I'm your husband's boss, Lutsky Ilya Kirilovich. Let me show you. It's kind of confusing. He's a decent man. He never breaks the law. And he doesn't drink while driving. You know, the blood test showed that there was no alcohol in it and the rest is up to the police. Police? Yes. He can't go to the police. Why? You know, there was a case when he was young. A dude attacked a girl and ripped her dress off. Though he got into a fight. Yeah. And broke his leg. And in the morning it turned out that this dude's mom works in the prosecutor's office. Well, did you know that the questionnaire did not indicate that he was sitting? No, she didn't. The girl didn't press charges against the dude. So the whole thing got hashed up, but the dude's mom still works for the prosecutor's office. Please promise me that nothing will happen to him. You know, for my part, I can only promise to do what I can. Thank you. Is room 221 next? Thanks. Finally. Yes, I did. I need to get my car out of the impound lot right away. Didn't you have someone there? Yeah, okay, also. I need to get in touch with someone at the prosecutor's office. VOVA, hi. Hi. Where are you go? I need to see Stepin. Look, Stepin who? The doctor said to lie down for a few more days. My car was out of order, I know that for a fact. But according to the documents it passed the mark, you know? Viovie, stay out of this, okay? Why would you want to do that? Svita, come on, this girl and I could have died. And her kid is 10 years old. You know what? I've had enough of that girl. Haven't we had enough of her? You're not going backwards with your past. And my superiors don't know my past. Well, that's good and there's nothing to flatter. I can't do otherwise. Vova. Sorry. Where's the flash drive? What are you trying to do? You want to expose thieves to build a career. It's useless to explain. You wouldn't understand anyway. 500? This stingy guy offered you 200. I know you need the money, junior economist Julia Mischuk. I really do. He needs. Deal. But I'm not taking yours. I'll manage somehow. There are more important things. And I don't give a damn about your morals, okay? Where's the flash drive? Where's the flash drive? Of course we are inspired by Couture Collections, John Gogliano, Givenchy, Valentino, please have a seat, but I assure you that all our models are strictly exclusive, please have a look at our catalog. You know I have no idea what I want. I haven't even set a date yet. Oh great, so you'll have time to think, choose a dress design, and of course sew it, just a second, Nika, Nikaka. Nika, I'd like you to meet Nika, our best designer. Her daughter wore her dress to the wedding. Nice to meet you, Marina. Nice to meet you. Nika, we need to help our guests decide on a dress design. I think it won't be difficult. You have a great figure. 
Are you getting married? Nick a focus. All clients of our salon get married sooner or later. VOVA, I don't have time. Come back next Friday. Yes, I didn't come to you to talk. I came to talk business. What's your business? I saw a paper saying that my car had been repaired here. Number 1965. Only it couldn't have been. Bova, you see, this is our entire fleet. Since night such a rush here. Believe me, not one has not passed the two except for papers. Yours is in the impound yard right now. They'll sort it out, bring it back, we'll do it. On paper, you say? Okay, all right, thank you. Wait, I didn't tell you anything. Of course. Stepan, who was that? What was the date decided? We haven't decided anything yet. It all happened so suddenly. I was at a loss. Your husband must be a romantic. What's his name? Ilya. But romance is not our strong point. We are used to discussing everything beforehand and we have a balanced relationship, which may seem boring to some people, but for me it is stability. Lucky you. I certainly lack stability in my life. Hello? It's good to see you again. Are you choosing an engagement ring? Yes, yes. You know, I have a special offer for you. We can make a ring in the style of the bracelet you bought. And the bride will have a set. No, I don't want that set. I'll take this one. Wonderful choice. A happy future awaits you. I hope. Offer you an extra pack like last time. No one is enough. Yes, Katya. When? Are you sure? Does Marina Yurievna know? Yes, yes, I'm very sorry. Let the lawyers inform the relatives. I'll call you back. Please. You're right. I do have a happy future ahead of me. Diamonds bring good luck. Exacerbation of chronic heart disease. Could not be saved. Igor Leonidovic. Where is she? Internal hemorrhage plus exacerbation of a chronic heart disease. A severe blow to the chest area triggered the crisis. We tried to keep the situation under control. Is she in intensive care? Can I see her? Julia Mishkik died. She was pronounced dead 10 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. You can take her things, they're in her room. You're the only person close to her in this town. you do this to me? Who let you die? You're so bloody selfish. You've always been like that. What am I supposed to do now, Julia? I have 
haven't even had time to forgive you. I'm sorry. There was no connection. So I got there as soon as I could. Marina came to see me today. Why? How did she find you? She wanted to order a wedding dress. You proposed to her on your working and boring business trip. Look, I'll explain everything. Or maybe she'd better explain. Calm down. I'll tell her that you love someone else, and you want to walk away from your balanced and stable relationship. Nika, calm down, calm down. Well, you want to live a good and beautiful life, don't you? When did you propose to her? What difference does it make when? What difference does it make? So you think it's that simple? It's that simple. Nika, don't be a child. I break the laws sometimes, for you and me, and now somebody leaked all the information, I don't know the motherfucker's name, but now I can go to jail. What do you mean jail? Get in jail. What's that got to do with you? Isn't that someone else's last name? This man is mine. I wanted my men in all positions. You see, the offer was a distraction at all. Look, let's just calm down. We have to trust each other. Look up. wanted to do this before, but it got so complicated. Nika, let's, let's start trusting each other. So you weren't going to propose to her? Of course not, of course not. Maybe she should go somewhere else. It's a good idea, but I have a better idea. I think we'd like it better. I'm sorry. Right. Got it, I'm on my way. What an asshole. I got a call from the service station. What the fuck were you doing there? Well, if you've rushed here, you must have guessed. Sure, you don't have to go there. It's just a coincidence, a coincidence. Yes, yes. The head of the service station also said not to interfere. Papers poked with stamps. They say all cars have passed inspection. But all this is just a lie. I'll go to the police tomorrow before you kill someone else. Better yet, go straight to the prosecutor's office. I can also go to the prosecutor's office. Kuziakin sends his regards. His mom retired and he's in her place now. But he's still limping. It wasn't my fault for the car accident. I don't know who's to blame, or maybe I am. Let him sort it out. All I know is that before you came, there were no fatalities in the company. And you don't know. Julia Mischuk died today in the hospital from her injuries, so think you either choose to go to jail or we'll fix your back, fix your financial situation, and we'll forget all about it like a bad dream. You measure me by money. And everyone needs money, even me. But you need it more now. So think carefully and decide. Okay. 
Hello, Svetika. Hello. I came to visit your husband, my employee. Did you? Vladimir, yes, take care of him. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And why did he come? He offered money to keep quiet about the car accident. And you? Boria, I asked you to assemble the cars. Hello? Oleg Mikhailovich. Yes. Hello? I am in charge of the case of your spouse Mishka, Julia Nikolaevna. The case? Well, that was fast, of course. You know what? Please tell Julia that if she wants a divorce, I'll sign everything. She didn't need to spend money on a lawyer. We don't handle family cases. I'm a lawyer for the company where your wife worked. Was she working? Did she quit her job? Oleg Mikhailovich, your wife passed away today. I am very sorry. An accident, car accident. The company will reimburse medical expenses and funeral expenses. We just need your details. Can you come and sign the papers the day after tomorrow? Yes, of course. All right. We'll prepare a medical certificate. We'll take care of the transportation of the body. Hold on. Son, did you brush your teeth? Yes. Get the cars together and go to bed. Ten days later. I did. How did it go? Don't ask. I could hardly stand it. And I was being presumptuous. I should have gone. No, you were right not to go, you know. It's a small town. There would have been jealous people, for sure. They would have remembered your conflict. They would have embellished it. And the journalists would have been happy to get hold of it and started poking around in your private life. Who needs me? I need you. I need you, you need me, because only I know that behind this strong woman hides a vulnerable little girl, my little girl. <laughs> Have you seen Borya? Who? Borya, her son. Oh no, there was this one, her husband. He kept asking me about the accident. And I don't think he liked me very much. Okay, let's change the subject. You know, you did the right thing going to that conference. You did the right thing. Why are you wearing that sweatshirt? It's warm in there. I think that's me. Listen, honey, I can't take you. I've got a work emergency. I'll call you a cab. I'm sorry, to the airport. To the bus station, please. As you say. Menu? 
menu, please. We'll call you. Did you have to meet here? Why? I think it's the perfect place to celebrate your good decision. How do you know what decision I made? Experience, I can see that you're not stupid and understand who you're dealing with. And if you had made a different decision, we would now be sitting in the police or the prosecutor's office. We don't want to sit in the prosecutor's office, do we? I'm ready to take the money. See? See how easy it is. It's the right decision. That's right, all right, take off your jacket and don't deny yourself anything. By the way, they have great chili and sea base on a bed of sauteed vegetables. Enjoy it. Today is your day. That's not tight, is it? Wow, I even feel different, like Yoka in her foreign clothes. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Dad would be proud of me, wouldn't he, by us? To be honest, I don't even remember his face. I just remember you telling me he was gone. Is everything okay? It's okay, honey. It's just a little stuffy. Let's just leave it all. No, Marisha. You're about to have your photo taken for the yearbook. You don't sleep at night anyway. Everything is fine, but please don't twist. I'll tie it. You're so beautiful, Marishka. A princess. Dear, we're coming up. I'm sorry, Mommy, that I haven't come for a long time. Work, work. I've missed so much in my life because of this work. Don't you worry. This grave is well taken care of. Who? Her husband comes here often. He comes to clean up. He painted the fence. <laughs> Well, hello, Marisha. Dad? I thought you were dead. As you can see alive. <laughs> quiet, quiet. Hey, 
let's go. We have a lot to talk about, don't we? Your father is a good man. He's not my father. Tell him not to come here anymore. Travel agency feed in the sea. The manager, Tatiana, how can I help you? Hello, Tatiana. I booked the best hotel in Valiana from you, and now I'm standing in front of some hole. The whole Valiana is a shithole, but if you don't like it, I can look at the private sector for you, but only tomorrow. The workday is over and I'm out of the office. Thank you. Goodbye. Good evening to you, too. Beautiful. Well, welcome to your hometown. Welcome to our hotel. Thanks. Thanks. Shall we go? Go. Hello. Good morning. I want to inform you, Olag, that my room has dirty linens and the rough refrigerator is cracking so badly that it's about to take off. I wish I had your problem. Excuse me? I say that we will definitely give you another number. You know what? Please provide me with a book of complaints. Okay. Just a second. Here you go. I hope that my complaint will fix something. Of course it will. The entire staff will be deprived of part of their salaries. And with that money, they will buy new sheets and fix the rough refrigerator. I don't think so. Excuse me, can I offer you some coffee? Unlike everything else, our coffee is quite good. What else is in bed? Are you leaving already? That's too bad. I like to imagine you lying under. Okay, kisses. I'll call you back. Come on. It's beautiful, isn't it? Why are you visiting us so often? Relax, I have good news for you. The flash drive never resurfaced. That is, the problem has solved itself. It turns out that it is. Great. By the way, I found out a very interesting detail. It turns out the letter about the theft. None of mine did not send. IT guys all went through. So who knows, maybe it wasn't me they wanted to mess with. Well, goodbye, have a good day. Thank you, Julia. Thanks. Enjoy your meal. So instead of a conference in Milan, I ended up in the city of my childhood. I wanted to make sure that my classmate's family was okay. You probably think I'm crazy. I honestly think so too. No, I don't think so. I think you're brave. Yeah, I even envy you. 
No? Yeah, I'm totally your antipod. I'm just kind of going with the flow. What do you mean? Can you tell us? It's easier to open up to someone you don't know. Yes, there's not much to tell. I'm married for love. But my father-in-law was an influential man and he was accustomed to decide everything himself. Where to vacation, what to buy, where to live. It suited his wife. What about you? Well, who could be happy with that? At first I resisted. Then the baby was born and everything got better. And after the death of my father-in-law, my wife took his death hard. I kept trying to become the head of the family. But I guess it didn't work out. Do you still love her? There's a guest for you over there. Yes, thank you, Julia. Sorry, I have to go now. Yes, I have to go too. Where are you going now? I'm going to go visit her family. Good luck. Thanks. Hello. Did you want something? Hello, I'm Marina Chernenko. I'm looking for the boy of the deceased Julia Mishchuk, Borya. Did something else happen? Don't you know? No, I know why, of course, but... And you know, I'm telling you, the kid is problematic and always has been, even before you know, and he gets cocky. He gets into fights. No, I try my best, but understand, I have a class teacher. I have a parallel class of 29. I understand, but why are you telling me this? Wait, aren't you from social services? No, but a classmate of Yulia Mischuk's. I came to town too. Don't run around here. Support the family. Very good, very good. You know, Boris isn't at school now. His father took him to some health camp, where they work with children who have suffered injuries. And when will he be back? How should I know? You'd better ask your father. How do I find it? Maybe you can give me the address? All right. I'll write you the address and phone number. I remember it by heart. Here you go. Thanks. Say hello, and tell him that we are waiting for Borea very, very much. Goodbye. Of course. Who do you want to see? Hello. Hello. And I'm Marina Chernenko. I'm a friend of Yulia Mishkak. Ah, yes. Such sorrow. I came to visit family. Yeah, except they're not home. And when will they be, do you know? No. Well... I left my information. Let them call me when? Of course. Would you tell them? Of course. To get them to contact me? Of course, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Look at her just when Julenka was gone. She went straight to her husband. Tomorrow, Oleksivna. Hello. Advertisements are thrown around, just trash.
I wish you had told me something, Mom. I would have understood. I forgave Julia. Too bad it's too late. I'll stay at Valina for a while. I want to look after her son. You know how fathers are. Do you want to sell my and my mom's apartment? No, what I can claim for myself, I don't need anyone else's. Only my own, Marinka. Money is very tight right now, very tight. And I'll help. I'll help sell. And we'll choose a room together, I'll help. Sell it. I don't care. Yes. I'll be right back. Look, I've been carrying this around with me all my life. So now you can have it as a memento. I'll give you the money from the sale of the apartment. And I never want to see you again. Go away. Daughter, wait, Marisha, I... Did something happen? Well, here's a handkerchief. Thanks. I told you not to let him in. Is that so hard to do? Who's not allowed in? Her father, her father comes here. Are you and he at odds? He's not my father. I'm sorry. Listen, Nika, that's a beautiful ring you have. When am I going to get married? Listen, Masha, and there's such a creamy fun dress. You know someone has overhung? Which belonged to Chernenko. Yeah. So his fiancée paid for it yesterday. What do you mean? Did he come by himself? No, here's a courier delivery to your home address and a holiday package. Has the courier arrived yet? Well, you no, know, he is to be now. We'll do everything well. Marina, wait. I'd rather be alone right now. It seemed to me that you wanted to speak out. You imagined it. Thanks.
You're welcome. Come in. Delivery of the wedding dress. Festively wrapped, everything as you ordered. Do you want some coffee? Why did you order it? I have to pay you for your work. Help yourself, no sugar. Ilya, I want to understand what's going on. And what's going on? First you say we're serious, and then you order this wedding dress. Yes, we're serious. Ilya. What? What do you want me to say? That you're not going to marry Marina. I'm not going to marry Marina. That's fine. That's great. So she doesn't need a dress, either. What are you doing? Like what? Getting rid of unnecessary things. I won't give it to her. What does she need it for? Will she go to work or what? Leave it. He will give it to the poor. Calm down, hysterical girl. It's all clear with you, asshole. Until I was 17, I thought my dad was dead. I believed in the legend my mother told me. I even had a picture of my dad. He was so tall and handsome and in his uniform. And then it turned out he was alive. He was my father, well, maybe for a little over a day. Until I found out he wanted to sell my mom's apartment. And then? Didn't you try to find you? To redeem yourself? No, why did he try? When I was a student, he came to my dorm. I looked at him through the window and looked at him. I couldn't get out. I couldn't. Come here, let's go. I would give anything to see my parents. When was the last time you saw them? Never. I grew up in an orphanage. Higher dad, stronger. Go on. He took the dress, but he cancelled the wedding. So he is a fiancé. Are you even normal, girlfriend? They broke up. It's just that he couldn't order a dress and not pay for it. And I threw a tantrum. So he left his fiancé for you? That's a good man. You don't know him at all. I'm sorry, baby, we both overreacted. Come over tonight and WLL talk. So you're just going to give up everything for him and Ren? No, of course not. So let's summarize, let's go with last quarter's figure, taking into account the seasonal increase of 5 to 7 percent. Is it clear? Yes, I get it. That's all for today, thank you. Have a good day. What? It's okay, I see how you've settled into the director's chair. What's the objection? Come on, there are suggestions. So? Optimization. To reduce your percentage of all deals, let's say by five and a half, to make it easier for others to breathe. It, uh, Isn't that for you? Ilya, the flush drive is a good thing. 
Okay. And I have a lot of interesting things left on the server. And your five minutes like Marina Yurievna. And of course you're not going to risk your chair, right? You know I won't. So okay. It's a deal. You went to all this cemetery again. You go there like you go to work. It's none of your business. So move there. It's quiet there. No one bothers you. Why are you starting that again? What am I starting? This is the scandal, why? It's been five years since we got divorced, so it's time to move on. So go away, it's my home, go away. So how much money did you build it with? Have you forgotten how you sold your daughter's apartment? So don't stick your nose into my relationship with Marina, it's my business and hers, that's all. Yes? May I, Ilya Kirillovich? Yes, please. You asked me to find out from the incoming mail. Here, I trace the sender. Thank you. Thank you. Jenna, I keep forgetting. Thank you. Thank you. And you really are a good actress, a real talent. Bravo. What do you mean? Don't you have enough money? I'm stingy. I don't give enough money for all these, these little things. You know what, honey, answer me one question. How much did they pay you for this? And more importantly, who? Nobody paid me anything. I... I did it out of jealousy. I thought there would be a ruckus and you wouldn't go to the damn spa. All you women are the same. Of course, whoever gives the most will have the most bed, right? That's what you think of me. What am I supposed to think of you? If you jumped into bed with one man, it's no problem to jump into bed with another. Don't ever get involved in my business again, understand? Go back to your marina and take your ring back. Hello, here's the key. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for the new sheet. Don't thank me, thank our administrator, he did his best, he wants everything to be right, like in Europe. Where are he? On my day off, he went to inspect my hotel on Pasaknea. There's an abandoned building derelict. What is it? It's private now. Soon we'll all be working there. Are you serious? I'm kidding, girl. Our director won't let Ola go anywhere. I've told him 100 times. So, Dima, I asked you to correct his percentage. I'll write 10 plus 2 to me for overseeing your activities. What? No, you got it wrong. Okay, well... All information is now on Ilya Kirilovic's server. I will prepare documents on transactions for him myself now. Your task is to store and control the ship workers. You have to answer for that. Dmitry Andreevich, and you, Yuri Fedorovic, better take a long vacation to get your nerves better.
Oh, you have no idea what we've been through here and rejections and threats. Even a fire. Really? So from that, I stood and thought, I can do it. At least my son will be proud of me. It's funny, isn't it? No. Everything we do, we do to make someone proud. I'd give a lot to have my mother around to make me proud. Well, your father is alive. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Would you like some tea? Yes. Carefully, it's hot. Hot. I just had such a situation in my life. I kept putting it off. I thought I would make it in time. And then all of a sudden I got a call in the middle of the night saying that she was gone. Who? My wife is dead. I'm sorry, I didn't know. And we were in a fight. You have no idea how much I regret that I never talked to her, I didn't have time. Maybe you should talk to your father. Try it. I'm afraid. Do you want me to go with you? A client calls me recently and is indignant at the shithole I put her in. And I tell her, you know, this whole town is a big shithole. She tried to lecture me. Oh, Tanya, we know such people. The order for three cup eggs, but the demands of a million. By the way, what's her name? If she is switched to me, at least I will know how to communicate with her. Marina Chernenko. She's some big boss at Testica or Testigo. I don't remember. It seems to me that a woman sits on a man's job and gets mad. Can you sign the sheet? Yes. Somewhere else? No, you two guys, tell me, what hotel is this Marina Chernenko staying at? I just know her. And don't stick your nose where it's not wanted. Yes, that's it. Jesus, Marinaka, Marisha. Marishinka. Marisha. Come in soon. Why don't you come in? Hello? Jesus, how did you end up here? What are you doing here? This is Olag. Yuri, it's a pleasure. Olag. How are you, Marinaka? And I was just here at my mother's grave. I cleaned up a little bit, made a new bed. Yes, I saw. You see, I'm fixing things, planting things. How about some tea? Just a sec. Just a sec. Hold on a second. It's okay. Here you go, Marinaka. What is this? Money. I collected it for the apartment, do you remember? Is that all? Well, as long as what we have, well, I'll save up and... Let's go. Marina, Marina, my daughter, wait, wait, I'm Marisha.
I told you it was a bad idea. People don't change. Money has always been more important to him than anything else. You saw it yourself. I shouldn't have done all this. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I'll probably go back to the hotel and I want to be alone. I'll walk you through it. Good evening. Hello, where is my daughter? You know, I don't think she wants to see you. Yes, we'll check it out. Give me a number. All right, I'll knock on everyone. I got nothing to lose. Yes, I think you've already lost everything. I'm sorry. She came to you. She wanted to talk to you like a human being, and you? You gave her money. You should have seen her afterwards. What is wrong with me? I ruined my life. I ruined my daughter's life. And the worst thing is that now I don't know how to fix it all. I don't know how to redeem myself. The two elevens. What? Number 211 to talk to her. Thank you. Good evening, Oleg Mikhailovich. Good evening. Well, Borka is very good boy. Thank you. <laughs> Borya. Daddy, I'm here. Bye, Borya. Goodbye. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Did you bring money again? May I come in? I am very guilty before you. 
forgive me. And I am guilty before Olga. I understand that money can't atone for it. Yes. Keys to the house. Come any time you want. I'll be waiting. If you want to visit mom's grave, that's fine with me. Hi. Hi. You're my good one. How's it going today? It's okay. No one hurt you. Are you sure? I'm sure. Boria, I need to go talk to my teacher. Can you wait? Okay. I'll be quick. Okay. Don't be bored. Who do we have here? Where have you been, you sissy? Get away from me. Come on, give me the backpack. What you got there, freeze. Give me the backpack. So what have we got here? What shall we give you now? Smile, you're being filmed by a hidden camera. Who are you? Turn off the camera. It's not legal. No way. Does anyone else want one? No. What do you want? I want you to get in the trash can and take out the backpack. Yeah, right away. Then I'll see you at the principal's office. Lysha, go get the backpack. No. Not Lesha. I want you to get in. Come on, hurry up. Here you go. And... I'm sorry. Okay. Hotel Valiani, and here. Hotel Valiani, good afternoon. Hello, can you tell me if Marina Chernenko lives at your hotel? Yes, Marina Chernenko. Marina Yurievna Chernenko. Yes. She lives in 211, can I connect you? Why are you calling her? Because you can't do it yourself, you're injured, you could have died, and they paid you three kopecks. Svita, I forbid it. And I don't need permission, I am a wife, and I have every right. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. She's not in the room right now. What? She's not in the room. There isn't one. Okay, thank you. VOVA. What are you doing? VOVA, what are you doing? I'm leaving. Vova, you're not going anywhere. VOVA, what are you? Vova. Vova. Boria went through rehabilitation. But I talked to his psychologist. The child is traumatized. Well, of course, such a loss. I understand everything. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. No, you really don't understand now. First of all, he's being bullied at school. Come on, they're kids. They're always in conflict. Don't mind them. 
Secondly, he is afraid to go to his teacher with this. It's amazing. My goodness, kids are amazingly manipulative after all. And what are you going to do with your son? With my son? Yes. Nothing. But I want to warn you. If anyone ever touches him again, I'll go to the director if necessary. I'll go higher. Why such measures? Wait, let's talk, let's figure it out. I have nothing to talk to you. Have a nice day. Yes. Zana, hello. Hi, Valyusha. What did my Suryasa do again? No, not about him now. Bori's father came by. He threatened to go to the principal. Valya, don't worry. Your director has three days until retirement, and then your place is yours, as promised. No, that's great, but that daddy, Zana, he's crazy. I'm telling you, he'll go higher. Complain? Yes. How interesting. What's the last name of this Boris? Miss Jack. That's cool. Can you teach me how to fight? I'll teach you. I hope you don't get into any more fights. Let me show you something. Come here. Look, it's my tree. There's even an inscription on it. Never give up. Do you know who made this inscription? Who? Me. Come on. Yes, I went to this school. Borya. Where's your dad? I need to meet him and talk to him. Borya. And here he is. Scared me. Where are you walking? Dad, come here. I'll introduce you to Marina. Who? Marina. Who is it? She's tough. She even knows how to fight. What are you all fighting about? Come on, let's go. Where is she? <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. Boris, we know each other. This is Marina. She lives in our hotel. So, on the occasion of acquaintance, I suggest we go to the cafe. I don't feel very well. I'm going back to the hotel. We'll walk you through it. No, no, it's okay. I'll get there. Hello. Good evening. This is the receptionist. You are expected downstairs. Who? Marina Yuryevna. I'm waiting for you. Hello, Marisha, finally. Tell me, how is the conference? How is Milan? I miss you. Svetlana Budko is sitting in front of me, the wife of the driver you bribed to keep quiet. So Marisha, where are you now? In Valiana. Where? So what else did she tell you? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'll come over to your place and we'll talk. Are you mad? Yes, I am, because you so easily lie to me where you're going and so easily believe what outsiders tell you. See you tomorrow. I'll be right there. I'm really looking forward to it. My deputy is coming here. Well, I guess I'll be going. 
I would ask you to stay until tomorrow. I have to work. I understand. Take time off. I'll pay for a hotel room. So? It's open. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Fine, thank you. You know? You made such an impression on my son that you were all he talked about all night. I didn't even know it would work out that way. I need to tell you something. It's very complicated and it's very important and I... Yes, and Borka asked me to give you his regards. What was I supposed to do? He came in and right from the threshold he started asking me for money. I didn't even know what he was talking about. If we're doing well with the service station, why did you give him money? Well, as it turned out, not all is well. Not all cars passed. I do not know. Maybe the owner got something wrong. Maybe he was taking money in his pocket. I promise I'll deal with it and tear up the contract as soon as I can. Now it is unrealistic. You know, there will be a precedent, Marisha, you have to understand. I was, I was really protecting you, I didn't want to get you involved. You already have so much on your plate. From now on, all transactions are under my personal control. Of course. I'm totally open to you now, since you're here. Let's go to a restaurant tonight. There are no good restaurants here. It doesn't matter. Well, let me make it up to you, please, please. I promise you won't regret it. Hello, Borea. Good afternoon. Hello? Hi, it's me. I can hear it. Have you eaten yet? Does your back hurt? What did you want? Viovie. Please forgive me. Viovie, let's talk. All right, let me just finish up here. I'll come up to your office and we'll talk. I'm not on the job right now. All right, where are you? I'm in another city. What do you mean in another city? I came to talk to Marina Yuryevna. And she left me here. She said she wanted to deal with the whole situation with your accident here. Svita, don't call me again. Vova, why do you say that? Vova. You were right. There are no good restaurants here, but I don't think it will spoil our evening. What are you always looking at? Are you waiting for someone? Now you'll find out for yourself. From now on everything is transparent and honest, just like you wanted.
Oleg Mikhailovich, come in. Good evening. Good evening. It's good that you came. I would like to introduce you to the General Director of Textic International, Marina Chernenko. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you, Julia. Oleg Mikhailovich, once again accept our condolences. Marina Yurievna and I specifically invited you to this dinner to personally present compensation on behalf of our company. The amount is significant. You can thank my manager for that. Generous. Nice to meet you again. I don't take bribes. Oleg, wait. What do you mean? Do you two know each other, Marina? Oleg, wait. And you came here to see him. I told you to stay out of it. Let's calm down. I think I don't love you. What's the matter? What's the matter? No. I don't think we like each other. Okay. It's worse than I thought. We had a normal life until that Julia and her husband and that family showed up. So now what? You lie to me and you avoid me. Look, look what you've become like, look what you've become. Stop it. Marina, please calm down. Stop it. Wait, please, Marina, let's go home. You'll calm down. By the way, look. Look. Up and we'll get ready for the wedding like normal people. Seriously. I'm scared for you. Daddy, is Marina coming tomorrow? Have you seen her? How is she feeling? Marina laughed. How? That's it. You see, son, Marina turned out to be the wrong person. Anyway, we won't talk to her anymore. What do you mean we don't? No, just because you didn't have a fight with her doesn't mean I have to either, so go and make up. Kid, there's still a lot you don't understand about life. Don't talk to me like a little kid, I've told you that 100 times. Borea, Borea. Borea. Boris. Leave me alone. Hello. Good evening. I am a child protection worker and have received a report of problems in the family that are negatively affecting a child. Are you kidding me? What kind of nonsense is that? What signal? 
Can I talk with baby? <clears throat> Boys, can you come out? Go away, I do not want to see you. He'll be right out. Zana, does that mean they're going to take him away from his father? Maybe so. We didn't overreact, did we? Volya, you should have been worried before. And then you said yourself that the boy often walks around with bruises. Can you be sure that some of those bruises weren't caused by his father? I can't. And you're not thinking in the same way. Why? There are plans to overhaul the school, and that's a budget. It's a big responsibility, you know. Yeah. And as a school principal, you have a lot of work to do. So focus, dear. I'm ready. Who came up with this nonsense anyway? I have no conflict with my son. He is being bullied at school. Have you reported to the school authorities? Were you trying to solve the problem? Yeah, I just found out about it from the camp counselor. I told my homeroom teacher. I see you well. We'll see or our psychologist will confirm it. Yes. So, we're all done here. You can take your son home now. That's it. I hope you understand what it cost me and my son. No, that's not all. We will look into the situation. We will let you know what the next steps are. Dad, let's go, please. Yes, we're on our way now. Boris, wait for me. You have no right to interfere in our lives. Andrei Sanik, what did you write? Well, a perfectly normal kid. Healthy relationships in the family and no signs of deviant behavior. There is a signal from above. A problem, family. It needs to be repelled. And I did. And I don't intend to cripple the child and his father for the sake of some overhead. I see, well, I'll pass it on. Thank you for your work. Viovier, are you home? You and I are different people. I'll stay with a friend, keep the money. It suits you very well to be my bride. I'm tired. I'm going to lie down.
no, wait, it's not a spontaneous decision. It took me a long time to come to this. I carefully studied everything, both budgeting and working with personnel. I have estimates and all the authorization documents on hand. In fact, the decision has been made. It's in your favor, but I have to voice all the risks. So if you still feel strong enough to dive into this venture, let's sign the contract. I can this way, please. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Two copies. Yeah. Here. Thanks. Sorry. It's okay. Hello? We're looking around. There's a lot of work to be done. But the new owner knows what he's doing. Damn. You understand, there can only be one hotel in our town, this one. Our director doesn't need any competition, he's a serious guy. What's easier for him to wipe you out or have competition? He could just work as a receptionist and keep his head down. Thanks for the advice. She's gone. What happened? Sure. She came to find out how much I would pay for my wife's death. She offered me money. I refused. The business trip was over. What's the matter? Didn't you offer enough? One more word and... Marina never measured a man's life by money. Okay? I used to measure it. And that's why she hated me. People change. You're confused. You are offended with her. Did she personally offer you money? No. What difference does it make? There's a big difference. You should have talked to her, you fool. Counsel is all. I hope not to see you again. Can I help you? I'm sorry for not calling. I was looking for Nika. It's a very beautiful bracelet. Do you know whose it is? One of the customers must have forgotten it. Would you like me to tell Nika you came by? Yes. For sure. And if the owner of the bracelet is found, let me know. I want the same. And who are? Marina Chernenko. I am in your database. Goodbye. What are you doing now? Hiding from her. From who? Marina Chernenko came looking for you. Nika, is everything all right? No, it's not okay. I think I'm pregnant. Wow. Valentina Stepanovna. Oleg Mikhailovich, it's so good that I met you. I really need to talk to you. You know I'm very sorry. I am a teacher with 20 years of experience and I missed a problem child. Oleg Mikhailovich, it's terrible. Boris has bruises and may appear new ones and we do not know where from, you know. 
you know very well where Boris got his bruises. I told you. That's what you said, Oleg Mikhailovich. And now the social worker said something completely different. Whom should I believe? Where is Boria? Why are you so nervous? He's at the doctor. He's fine. How long have you had these bruises? No, I mean recently. Recently, you said. If someone hurts you at home, don't be afraid to tell us. We'll protect you. Does your daddy hit you? What is going on? On what basis are you asking my son these questions? Based on the report made by our staff psychologist, here's. A dysfunctional family environment, what is that? The school should respond to this. Boris, let's go, let me go. Please don't make things worse for you. M.M. Home. Give back the report, it's for internal use. Dad, I'm not going to school anymore. Okay. Maybe we really are that bad. Everyone leaves us, first mom, then Marina. Boris, don't be silly. Let's give our hotel a name. A fire, Dad. Are you ready? Yes. Shooting, revenge fire on the future entrepreneur Oleg Kastchenko. Was it an accident or an intentional action by the perpetrators that remains to be seen by the law enforcement authorities? The fire department arrived on the scene and managed to localize the flames. Have there been arson attacks in the country before? What? No. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Can you give us a name? Lady, I beg you, let's not make any comments. Well, so far we have more questions than answers. Will the businessman decide to continue the project or refuse for the sake of his own safety or for the safety of his son? What sacrifices are we willing to make for our children? I warned you, well, who needs competition? You'd better think about your son. Thanks. What? Fourth weeks. Congratulations, it's such a joy. Bummer, if Ilya doesn't need me, then the baby even less so, and the child should grow up in a full family. Look, this is bullshit. There are plenty of women who raise children on their own. The fire department arrived on the scene and managed to localize the flames. Have there been arson attacks in the country before? What? No. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Can you give us a name? Pick up the phone. Lady, I beg you, let's not make any comments. Well, so far we have more questions than answers. Will the businessman decide to continue the project or refuse for the sake of his own safety or for the safety of his son? What sacrifices are we willing to make for our children? Calm down, calm down. Everyone is an adult. They can handle themselves. I'm home. You're a workaholic. What are you looking at? Well, this is business, marriage. Calm down, what do you want? That it's all so clean and white, right? No, I took all the dirt on me. You've been stealing from our business. No, no, I did it all for us and our family. For us? Yes. Maybe you put Yulia Mischuk in a malfunctioning car for us, huh? Is that business, too? Or maybe just murder? What are you talking about? Let go of me. 
Get out of here so I don't have to see you again. Hello? Are you here for me? Yes. Wait, are you the father of that boy boys? Yes, good to see. Why did you write that my son has mental exhaustion? That he comes from a troubled family? I have never laid a finger on him in my life. I have never put him in a corner. What do you mean? This is what I'm talking about. Here it was. Here? So where is he? Maybe he's hiding. Come in. Oh. Good afternoon. Hello. What are you doing here? We're just... Come on. Get out of here. Come out. Come out. We need to talk. And close the doors. Okay. Tell me. How did it go here? Zana. The first on pins and needles. I feel that this directorship, it will be given to me by sweat and blood. Thank you very much. Now, of course, everything is cleared up. Excuse me, son. Did you hear the bell? Yes. Come on, come on, to class. Hello, Dad, get me out of this school. Valentino will be appointed principal soon, and she hates me. Are you sure about Valentina Stepanovna? I overheard them talking to Zana, Suriza Samko's mother, that now that they had solved everything with the problematic elements, Valentino would be appointed director, Dad. I can't stand it. Take me away. Son, wait for me in the schoolyard. I'll be there soon. Tell me, do you happen to know Zana Samko? Unfortunately, yes. I've talked to people, they'll put you in the current schemes. It's a lot of money, you don't think you'll get away with it, do you? No one's gonna believe you're not involved. Listen to me. I've blocked all your accounts. I changed the locks in the apartment an hour ago. Your things will go into storage. I'll send you the code. You're going to regret this. You know, my only regret is that I believed you. And to take it away? Sell it for the first time is enough. Marina, what's going on? I'm not saying goodbye. Who is this man? What does he want? This is my ex. Are you in a fight? No, he no longer exists for me. I'm in a fight with someone far more important. With Oleg? Is he all right? Have you seen Boris? He came by to find out about you, but he didn't seem very happy about it. Marina, I'm trying to help. Damn. I'm trying to help. I know. I know, I can do it. Marisha, Marisha. If Ginny Lovic did something happen, did you want something? Suryaza, would you be so kind as to repeat what you said? I was the one who hurt Borya, and I gave him bruises, too. Did anyone else know about this? 
Valentina Stepanovna knew, but she didn't punish me. Why? She and my mom are friends. No, well, wait, being friends is not forbidden. Yes, but your friend lobbied for your appointment as director, bypassing the official competition. No, it's amazing. What a brazen lie. Aren't you ashamed? Alas, I made inquiries at the appropriate authorities all confirmed, and I believed you. No, if Genial Lovic, you misunderstood. Valya, what happened? Hello. Hello. Suryaza, what have you done again? I did, but you will be interested to know that the characteristic drawn up by the social authorities and the one that eventually ended up in the school are two completely different documents. What do you mean? This is about my son, who unfortunately has become a bargaining chip for your four reaching plans. Young man, there is no need to make such serious accusations. I'm not scattered. My words can confirm the social worker whom you pressed. The accusations are not only serious, but also well-founded. Let's go. Here, sorry. Blood type B, we're positive. Are we all set? Yes, we're all set. Great, then we can get started. In a couple of minutes we can start, let's go. Can I answer? Sure. Yes, Ilya. Vova Viovie, let's talk. Vodko, do you have a conscience? She comes here every day like she goes to work. And I didn't call her and we broke... How long ago? The day before yesterday. Cheating? Sveka never. You know what? I'm sick of both of you. Svetlana, come here, Boris. Let her through. Go, go. All right. Sort it out amongst yourselves and I don't want to see this circus again tomorrow, not a garage. It's like a visiting house. For God's sake. You shouldn't have come. I didn't become an oligarch and I won't take bribes anymore. Viovie. I don't need any oligarchs. I need you. Well, he called, and what did he say? Let's find out. Nika? Wait. I came to ask your forgiveness. I told you so much, I said so much. I did so many unpleasant things. I'm sorry. Do you want me to kneel down in front of you? Okay. I left her. I packed everything. I have everything there, sorry.
Okay. I forgive you. I just need to tell you something. Yes? We're going to have a baby. Yeah. I almost did something stupid, but you called just in time, as you felt it. Aren't you glad? Of course I'm glad. Did you find the owner of the bracelet? Could you give me her address? Yes. Okay, let's meet. Tonight near my house, I'll send you the address. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tell it like it is. It's my friend Nika's bracelet, the girl who made your wedding dress. She's a really nice girl. He's just messing with your head and hers. I willingly believe that. I want to stop this. I really want to help Nika. Please. Maybe you can talk to her. She won't listen to me at all. No. Why? Are you really satisfied with that? You know, Mash, you're a very good friend. If I had such a friend, I would appreciate him very much. My paths with Ilya have parted and I don't claim him anymore, but he's cheating on her. I'm sorry. Really. But Nika is a big girl. She'll deal with the man next to her. He's not a man. He's a bastard. She almost had an abortion because of him. What? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you that. Yes, Nika is expecting Ilya's baby. Children are happiness, Marina. Excuse me, Masha, I would like to be alone. Sorry. Hi. Your Marina came by. She turned down the dress, and Mashka told the boss everything. And now I'm out of a job. We'll figure something out. What? We'll sell your ring. Well, if you have to. Ilya. Let's go to your aunt's dacha. There's fresh air. You'll get some air. My aunt hasn't been going there for 100 years anyway. You know what? You go alone if you want in my car. I've got some business to take care of. Okay.
Ilya, I'm really asking you to get us out. Whatever you want, I'll take whatever you decide. Okay, go anyway. One left me without money, and the other wants to stick me with a baby. So, congratulations, Daddy. We don't know whose child it is. I went to her. I thought she would help. She has no money. She got kicked out of work. And then there's this kid. What are you going to do now? I don't know. A real edge. That remains to be seen by the law enforcement authorities. The fire department arrived on the scene and managed to localize the flames. Have there been arson attacks in the country before? What? No. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Can you give us a name? Lady, I beg you, let's not make any comments. Well, so far we have more questions than answers. Will the businessman decide to continue the project or refuse for the sake of his own safety or for the safety of his son? What sacrifices are we willing to make for our children? Thanks. Do you know him? What? Do you know him? No, it seemed. It's okay, son. We'll show everyone that we're not afraid of anyone, right? Right. Wow. What a beauty. So that's what you gave up school for. A worthy occupation. Take it easy, Boris. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your question? I just came to tell you that because of you, I'm an honored teacher and educator. I lost my job. Boris? Take out the trash. Are you sure it's because of me? Yes, I'm sure. In 20 years of work, I've brought a lot of people out into the world. How about you? What have you done? Deprive the next generation of a decent education, so be proud. I was just protecting my child from your career ambitions. No, wait, seriously. Do you really think you did your son a favor by making him dig in the dirt? Valentina Stepanovna, Borika is safer here, believe me. Excuse me, Borya. 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 Or maybe the child ran away on his own. Maybe there have been some aggravations lately, conflicts. Conflict. No, no. Boys couldn't escape. Things happen. We just need to fully understand the picture. Is that your son writing? Yes. No. What just happened? The women at the bazaar still can't calm down. A child was stolen from our poor businessman. Which businessman? You know. 
the one who started building the hotel. It's not enough for him to have a fire, so he went after serious people. It's a pity about the child. Was Boris stolen? Where are you going? Come in. What happened? Boris has a weak heart. He can't go long without medication. I just didn't know who else to turn to. Everything will be all right. We will solve everything. Everything will be fine. Cab, cheap taxi. Who needs a ride? Hi guys. Hi, I have a deal for you. I'm sorry, we can't take you for free. No, that's not what I mean, my son-in-law, maybe one of you drove him. No, man, sorry, no. Senya? Look at the picture there. Have you seen it? Drove Godorda out of town, that's the house on the right. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, see you. Maybe I know where Borea is, I'm going there. Where's your aunt's alcohol around here? Ilya, what have you done? Are you out of your mind? Hush. We're going to jail. Hush, you wanted me to get you out, didn't you? I'm getting you out, we'll get the ransom, let the boy go, and get out of this country. What did you give him? Why is he coughing so much, Ilya? Quiet. It's just a sleeping pill, just an adult dose. No, I don't want to be a part of it. Where are you going? We're connected to you. Okay, you stay here and don't come out. Understand? I'm gonna get some cough medicine. Borea, get up. 
Буриков, вставай. Get away from him, you bitch. Who are you? Who? The police are coming. You'll find out who Borya. It's not my fault. Whose fault is it? He's the one who brought him in. I don't know what to do. What to do? Bringing your child home is what you do if you don't want to go to jail. I don't want. If you don't want to do it, go ahead and help. Borya. She's scared. You should have been scared before. Come on, my good man. Let's go. Shit. Is there another way out? No. So we'll go through this one. Who are you, man? Neighbor. Where are you going? Well, go home. I said go home, and you get out of here. Run. Oh my. Let me go. Let's go, Ilya Kirillovich. Police, let the child go. Borya. Auntie Marina. Stand back, three steps back, hands above your head. It was her who kidnapped the child. It's her, it's her house. You can check, it's not my fault. Oh, you bastard. I got her, not true. This lady saved me. Forgive me. I know everything. There's a man in the yard. Dad, dad. Forgive me. Forgive me, daughter, for everything. I forgave you long ago. Do you remember this? Do you remember? You still have the other half. Yes, of course. Well, then it's time to glow. Face the wall. Going in. It's good that you came. They're accusing me of kidnapping and inflicting grievous bodily harm. So we have to do something. For us. For our baby, Nika. How are you? How do you feel? I got two years probation. Ilya, I came to tell you that I don't plan to tell the child who the father is. There will be a dash in that box. And I hope you won't bother us when you get out of here. Nika. 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 Mm -hmm. So, boys, let's get changed and let's get to work. Aha, uh -huh, Marina, hi. 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 
Do you need assistance? Well, actually, yes. Only there is work not for one month. I'm not in a hurry anywhere. For good luck. <laughs>